The thousands of Afghan allies resettling in the U.S. while facing an uncertain future. Senior Washington reporter Devin Dwyer joins us now with more on the stakes for these families and what's being done on Capitol Hill. Devin, good morning. Hey, good morning. We have more than 76,000 Afghans evacuated to the United States after the U.S. withdrawal. And many of those families are now living in limbo with temporary immigration status, maybe having to return to Afghanistan under the Taliban unless Congress acts. It's an Afghan instrument playing an American song. Hamid on the tabla and his wife Najin, Afghanistan's first female music conductor, fled their country 18 months ago. Now they're urging Congress to let them stay here. While her family was recently approved for asylum, most Afghan evacuees have legal status that is temporary, expiring later this summer. These are our allies. They worked alongside the U.S. military. They worked at the U.S. Embassy. If Congress doesn't act, uh, th these people face the real possibility of having to return to Afghanistan. That's right. Abdul, a former interpreter for U.S. Marines, and his wife, Lima, and their three daughters, ages 14, 11, and 7, consider themselves some of the lucky ones. After a harrowing journey out of Kabul, helped in part by ABC News, they were approved for special immigrant visas. Do you think you ever could go back? We couldn't go there because I have three daughters. We don't want gift cards. We don't want foods. Just send to the Congress letters about Afghan Adjustment Act that we need it. The Afghan Adjustment Act would provide a path to green card status for Afghan evacuees and their families, require additional U.S. vetting, including in-person interviews, and expand efforts to help Afghan allies left behind in that chaotic withdrawal. But Republican critics of the plan say the sticking point is security. The fact that you are not conducting the most standard interviews for tens of thousands of people brought to this country is astounding to me. The Department of Homeland Security Inspector General last year found many evacuees were not fully vetted. Do you think the security concerns have been met? I think they're over, uh, overblown. Now, permanent residency for the Afghans has broad bipartisan support. It's also backed by a coalition of current and former military leaders. But, guys, first they have to resolve those concerns from a handful of Republicans by the end of the summer. And until then, as you heard, there are so many of these families living in limbo right now. Guys? Devin, thanks so much for that story. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.